When we talked about PE ratios, we talked about a number of drawbacks of this uh, particular ratio in uh, allowing us to compare the valuation of different companies. And those relate to the fact that the PE ratio only uses one year of earnings, that earnings don't capture everything about a company given that uh, there are certain non-cash items in, in deriving the earnings of a company or the net income and the fact that um, the earnings of that company could have been artificially depressed for whatever reason including for example write-offs or uh, just a, a bad year of earnings or that the, the fact that the company might actually have um, very strong growth prospects ahead of it and it's actually in a very early phase of its life so the earnings might be small today but very large tomorrow um, and, there, and that might not be captured in that year's earnings that we're looking at. Certainly all of the growth would not be. So to address some of those issues, um, sometimes analysts look at PE to growth ratios. And that, uh, this ratio looks, takes the PE ratio, which is the price um, divided by the earnings, obviously, as we, as we said in the, PE, uh, in the other video, but, uh, and then divides it by the growth, the percentage growth of earnings of the company. So it takes the PE and divides it by the growth, so it normalizes the PE ratio for growth. So a company that has a high PE ratio and that has high growth um, wouldn't look quite as bad um, if you div divided it by the growth um, versus a company that, for example, has a low PE ratio and, and low growth. So, so we're, we start, we're starting to normalize for this growth and earnings factor um, and recognize that that plays a role and bring potentially a higher PE ratio uh, down a little bit and, and leave a lower PE ratio, uh, you know, not bring it down quite as much so that we could begin to compare um, the companies on a normalized basis adjusting for growth. This doesn't take away from the fact that the earnings are still um, not a measure of all of the things that are going on within the company. It also, um, the, the growth is also taken over a certain period of time, so it may not um, capture all of the years of growth. But it, it certainly is an additional measure and a modification of the P-E ratio that allows additional information to be captured and that is why the P-E to growth ratio is often used for companies that have different growth rates and to adjust for that.